Welcome back, everybody. This is the Hobbywing F4 4-in-1 that I pulled right out of my stees to talk about some of the stuff that we got going on. And it's, it's very dirty. I apologize for that. I had some questions come in about using these flight controls uh, without the Hobbywing 4-in-1, so you're not going to use the pins. For the most part, obviously, those pins, you're going to have to do something about that, remove those in a proper soldering fashion for most of the applications. But beyond that, it's just like a normal flight control on the pinouts. Do all apply your UARTs are up on the, the top side of how I have it positioned here. You see this is what would be the bottom of the picture. My arrows right there, header pins on the right-hand side. Uh, but we do have some basic questions about how all this stuff works. Right here is this side of your video in and out for the OSD stuff. The BB plus and minus is for your beeper or your buzzer. That's what those stand for. Um, LED power is right there for normal LEDs. And then we have the ground CRT and VBAT right there. And those are all for use in normal flight control applications for getting your VBAT information, current, and then there's a ground wire there as well. On this bottom row right here, this is if you were gonna hook up normal speed controls, you have your signal one, signal two, signal three, four, five, and six. You start six on this side, it goes that way. And then we have ground and five volts, and that's your power in. So if you need to power the flight control, you get a, a clean five volts and you're gonna power it from that side. USB's right there, and then as we touched upon all the, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, UART topics are on the top, and there is uh, some small markings on there, R6, R1, T3, R3, 3.3 ground, and then you have the same markings, ground 5, SFOS, and uh, R, what I think S SSI, which is supposed to be RSSI. And then on the back side, oh, I should clean this off before I do these things, sorry. More of the same thing, pins on the back side, it's just an option for you to solder through to the bottom, but nothing exciting on this side. The, the LED assignments are on the back. Back. I don't have my manual out, but if you look in your manual on the back side, if you're looking to do the assignable LED stuff, that's on this back side here for the, the signal wire, if you will. So there you have it, folks. A little update on the F4 with the frequency frequently asked questions that we get. Thanks for tuning in.